Hello, it's Lou Collins. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Now, this is the start of a brand new series for you. I have a huge passion for distress oxides and distress inks, and I'm always searching for color combinations with a particular color. Uh, so I thought I'd put this together. This is going to be in alphabetical order to make sure that I don't miss any of the colors out. We're starting today with the very first one, Abandoned Coral. And what I'm going to do is show you what it looks like on white cardstock. So you can really see what it looks like as opposed to maybe on a screen, for example. But also then I'm going to give you a couple of combinations using it. So a three color and a four color combination. One very girly and one maybe a little more masculine. Obviously that always depends on what the colour is. Where it's pink we might not be able to go quite so masculine. So let's start first of all by showing you what this colour actually looks like on its own. I think this is absolutely beautiful. So it's, it's kind of a red but it's got a pinky tone to it and it's a really warm one. It's almost got an orange in it as well, obviously hence the coral colour. So I'm just going to use my blending brushes now. All the colours that I'm using um, and also the blending brushes that I'm using, any other tools, so my blending mat, which is the clear mat that's under my workspace here. All of these are available through links in the description, so you'll find those all there. They are all affiliate links. Uh, it won't cost you any extra to use or to purchase through the links, but it may mean that I get a tiny bit of commission from them. So when blending, I'm always going to blend a little further than I want my block colour to be. So that is Abandoned Corals, absolutely beautiful, almost touching on a peachy pink. Um, I love this if I want something a little softer than a pink. Pink I find can be sometimes quite a cool colour. This is a lovely warm one, absolutely beautiful and very on trend at the moment. Now let's just clean my mat and let's start mixing this with other colours. So I'm going to bring in Seedless Preserves and Tattered Rose for this. This is going to be a very feminine mix. So Seedless Preserves, a lovely, again, a warm purple. So just going over the top and see how bright this colour is. It's absolutely stunning and it just works really nicely with the abandoned coral. So I'm just going to overlap the two there. Now when I'm doing any sort of ink blending and ombres like this, I always keep the blending brush from my previous colours near me because I tend to want to go back in and ensure that line is blended beautifully with the first colour. So although that looks like a nice blend now, I'm just going to go back over a little bit with this as well. There we go. So Seedless Preserves into Abandoned Coral. Absolutely stunning. Now again, I'm just going to wipe my mat once more and this is just so that I don't get any of the purple going into the next colour, particularly as the uh, Tattered Rose really is a pale colour, so you don't want anything to uh, get to sort of contaminate that. Now, if you're doing a panel like this and you're not doing a large enough panel that you can then trim out afterwards, it's a good idea to take yourself a piece of low-tack tape. You, some people will use something like a post-it note, but just a little bit of low-tack tape, and then you can kind of hold your paper still without actually getting your fingerprints on there. Now Tattered Rose is an extremely light colour so you probably will need quite a bit of ink so just keep layering, keep layering, it will come through and also you're going to want to put quite a bit of pressure on your blending brush certainly initially while you lay down that first bit of colour. So you can see I'm just going over and over and over. I've only left a small area here to blend into and then I'm going to keep going over just about, I don't know, say half an inch into the abandoned coral and gradually this is going to drag this down into that lovely tattered rose. What a beautiful soft blend that one is too. There we go. So I've got my tape, I'll just take this off. And there we've got a really, really lovely blend. So Seedless Preserves, Abandoned Coral and Tattered Rose at the bottom there. So let's do one more combination with the Abandoned Coral. This one's going to be a bit more of a masculine sort of combination. Although we've got the pinky coral colour color in there, it's going to still be quite masculine. So let's start at the top with Chipped Sapphire, which is a blue, although I've got a purple handled blending brush uh, it is what it is, it's what I had free, the closest colour I had free. So because this is such a dark colour, 
I'm not going to do a huge amount in the dark blue, but I am going to make sure that is a nice solid blue on the small part of the panel I do. So just keep going over, like so, okay. And lifting up the pressure just to allow me to put a faint bit of blue down here, which helps with that blending. So next, the abandoned coral. This one. So I tend to go with the strip that I want to be the solid color of that particular distress oxide first, build that up. So I'm not focusing on blending at the moment. And then once I've got a nice solid strip of color through there, I'm then going to start working into the blue a little bit, lifting that up. And we're going to get a lovely, kind of almost a purple through here. Just keep going over. Don't go up and down, otherwise you'll keep bringing this gorgeous peachy color into the blue and the blue into the peach and you'll end up with a muddy color throughout. So just work along that line, just like so. And that's where if you need to just reinstate that blue again at the top, you can do that. So that's already a really beautiful blend of two colors. I love that. And that really can be quite masculine on its own. So then let's clean the mat off again, not to contaminate the next layer. And I then use, because I use a wet wipe, I also use a dry kitchen towel also. And that's just going to make sure there's no moisture on here. If you get water on here, these inks are water reactive. Okay, that's a whole nother video, but um, you don't really want to be getting water on your blending just now. You can do that at a later time, and that's an effect you're actually going for then, so that's okay. Now, Evergreen Bow is a beautiful color again. Really, really love this. It is very much a Christmassy color, but of course you can use it any time of year. So I haven't actually done any um, blending down from this abandoned coral yet. So I'm just going to take my strip of tape again. Really could probably do it this being a little bit longer. I'm going to place my strip on it right near to where I'm going to be blending. There we go. So then I don't have to touch the ink blended strip. Make sure that sticks down, there we go. And then again, blend the solid color through first. Gorgeous, gorgeous green, it is really lovely. There we go, so once you've got your solid color and you're happy with your solid color, I'm going to fade that out a bit at the bottom. And then gently going to lift that up towards, so it's just touching the abandoned coral. Now I don't want to lose the coral color because if I go too far up, I'll start getting towards where it mixes into the blue and then we've completely lost the, sor the solid abandoned coral color. So this is where you come back in with your first color, or in this case, it was the second color, wasn't it? Go back through, reinstate your solid color and then bring that down a little as well. So lastly here, I'm just adding in antique linen. I've blended that up into the evergreen bow, making sure it's a nice strong colour as well because it is a paler colour. So just keep layering over. The only trouble I usually, the only colour I usually have any trouble with layering is uh, the tattered rose that you saw earlier. Very, very pale colour, but it does get there eventually um, as long as you've got the time to do the layering. But that's the antique linen. So there is a four colour blend for you. A little bit different that one. So a little bit of everything. Almost your primary colours going through there. So really quite bright. But that gives you the opportunity to also look and see if you love the coral and the blue, beautiful colorway, if you want to work with just those three colors, or just those three colors, or just those two colors, you can see all of those. So it's really good to do these sort of color swatches, uh, start playing with your Distress Oxides, blending them together, making different color combination cards right on the back of your little strips as well. If you're going to do something like this and keep them just right on the back, uh, what each of the colors are so you don't forget and then another time you can easily come along and see these but I hope you love abandoned coral as much as I do it's a beautiful color um, you can see it does pretty much always work out in the same you get the same results each time you use it and please do join me for other videos like I say this is the first of a distress oxide blending video um, I am going to do one for every Distress Oxide colour out there at the moment, um, starting with Abandoned Coral because it's alphabetical and this is the first one. So join me in another video very soon on my YouTube channel and that will be with Aged Mahogany. Okay, take care everybody, I'll see you soon.